number 85, a punch directly in the throat. This is another deadly technique, one that you don't want to do lightly, the one that you don't want to do unless your life is in danger, unless you're sure something bad is going to happen to you. This is a real simple technique. You take the four knuckles and smash him as hard as you can right in the throat. Well, the effect is pretty easy to see and it's pretty devastating. It'll crush his, Adam's apple, it'll crush his throat and it will kill him. If he does not get immediate medical attention, this technique will tend to kill him. So this is not something you want to do lightly. This is a very effective technique. It's illegal in all these matches. I've seen someone in a uh, UFC fight get hit in the throat accidentally, and it just ended the fight right then, and he had to require medical attention. It's just a deadly, devastating technique. And look at it. I mean, if you just think about it, if you hit someone as hard as you could right in the throat with your knuckles, my goodness, the damage is going to be permanent. It's going to be lasting. It's going to is going to possibly kill him. So please, please don't practice any throat techniques unless your life is in danger. But remember them because they're very easy to learn. They're very deadly and they're not, don't require a lot of strength or technique. You just smash them in the throat as hard as you can. Right, this is a uh, interesting punch. It's a little different than a regular punch. This is a punch right to the bridge of the nose. And as you'll see down here, I'm actually punching down on his nose rather than up on his nose. By punching down, I drive his nose into the, his face and into his neck. This breaks his nose. It knocks some teeth out. It causes huge, two huge black eyes. The, the attacker will tend to lose consciousness immediately. They definitely won't be able to see. They'll be bleeding all over the place. It's a devastatingly effective technique, especially if you come down with it. When you come up with it, they can roll their head back a lot. When you go down with it, or especially if their head is against the wall or something, or even if they're on their knees, and you smash them as hard as you can right on the bridge of the nose with your knuckles, well, it's pretty easy to understand that they're going to be knocked out and